<laughs> what I mean. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I wanted to come on here and talk about um, my RPG show wig. Now this one I'm gonna be talking about because I actually have two wigs from RPG show. This one is my first wig ever that I ever purchased ever, ever in life, ever. <laughs> So um, this one is the Naomi Campbell inspired wig. I will be listing all the information um, below in the description box. But girl, let me tell you about this ratchet RPG show wig. Look at it. Look at this wig. Bruh. <laughs> Bruh, this wig is so matted. Oh my God. Like there's no like anything holding it. Look, look how matted it is. Like when I first got the wig, um, I purchased it in May um, 2015. Of course, when I first got it, it was perfect. Um, I got the Yaki texture, 20 inches, um, and I got it in a 1B. So as I'm talking to you, I'm trying to unravel the hair. I had it initially, in, I had it in a bun, and I have no idea why it's like stuck. Like it's literally stuck. This is, bro, I've had this hair for one year and this is what it's come to. Oh my goodness, like I literally can't even, I can't even undo this. To care for it, I was washing it with regular shampoo because I realized, you know, after a couple weeks, the hair was starting to not. It wasn't as silky and nice and soft as when I first purchased it. So I decided, okay, I have to wash it. So I was using regular shampoo to wash it and it still wasn't working out. It was still like knotting up and stuff like that. So I talked to my friend, Ariel. Hey, Ariel. Cause she, she's my go-to person for all things weaves and wigs. So I went to her um, for advice, like what do I need to do? So she was telling me I have to cold wash the wig and whatnot. So I did my own research and I found a lot of videos on people talking about wig care and they suggested to get silicone mix. Because so I continued to use the conditioner on it. But then at some point, I wanna say maybe uh, late, December in December the hair just was just a hot mess like it was shedding like crazy and um it was shedding uncontrollably actually and I felt like the wig kept getting lighter and lighter I ordered a 1b but when I got it I felt like it looked lighter than a 1b but then as i kept wearing the wig throughout the year like i felt like it just kept get going lighter and lighter at this point i feel like it looks more like a 2b because the hair i have right now is a 1b and yeah i feel like this looks like a 2b so another issue that i had other than the um shedding is the fact that the lace on the wig started fraying like crazy. I don't know if you guys can see those little f pieces of lace coming up, but yeah, it started fraying like crazy. The cap became incredibly loose. And let me just show you what the cap looks like because it is a full lace wig. So this is how the cap looks. So there's a um, comb here comb here and a comb here and then of course this part here so usually what I will do is I'll take these two and I'll clip them together like so because usually people will um put them in these little things but I don't do that and that's a little tip to just clip them together if you want your wig to be more snug so that's what I usually do because I have a small head um, so that's what it looks like and then the lace this is all the lace that there is that's that's all the lace that actually looks like your scalp everything else so this is what the lace looks like sorry I'm trying to 
So this is what the lace look like, where you can see my hand through it. And then everything else, the back of it, looks like this. So that's not, that's not like the transparent lace where you can like kind of see your scalp or whatever once you put your, um, put the wig on your head. So yeah, so that's what that looks like. So, so I did end up getting another wig from RPG Show. That one is going good so far. Um, I will be doing a review on that wig so you can see what that one's looking like. And I've had that one for six months now. So another thing I would suggest that I think um, I've come to understand from wearing wigs is that if you want your wig to last, you cannot wear it every day especially if you're really into wigs like you have to have a collection and you have to wear different ones and switch up the style because if you wear that same one every single day then you're definitely putting a lot of stress on the wig combing flat iron and blow drying like I was doing washing and all of that stuff like it's too much for the wig so you can't be doing that all the time and that's definitely what i was doing with my wig that i came to understand um so with this wig i haven't been you know wearing it a lot and stressing it out so i think that's part of the reason why it's, do been, it's doing a lot better than this wig right here so although my wig looks really crazy i would definitely I would recommend RPG show like recommend you buying that wig especially if you you know you know how to take care of wigs and whatnot but in my opinion I definitely feel like you can find more affordable here somewhere else like Aliexpress this wig is from Aliexpress and it's been doing fabulous so I would definitely recommend the wig but I'm just saying I'm just saying you can find a little something something cheaper on AliExpress, same quality and all of that good stuff.